Thank you so much for that introduction. It's a pleasure to be here today speaking with all of you. I would first like to thank the MLA um, and especially the members. You can see their names on the screen behind me. Thank you so much. Uh, we really couldn't do an event like this without you. So I'm really excited to be here today uh, speaking to you a little bit about the economy, what's going on in the world. Hopefully we can put some of it in perspective. So we at ITR, uh, we use a system of leading indicators and especially a rate of change methodology. So I'm going to run through the math very quickly. Um, for those of you that, that saw Connor speak at the conference last year, hopefully this is familiar and hopefully you're already using this rate of change in your own business day to day. Um, if you're not, I would certainly challenge you. You're at your computer right now, maybe pull up that Excel spreadsheet, see if you can run the numbers. It's a very simple calculation. It, it's not hard math, I promise. Um, and if you bear with me for just the next couple of minutes, you're going to have a very powerful tool to see your own industry, to see your own business specifically, as well as to look at that broader macro economy. But more than anything, I can take that 12-12 rate of change and I can plot it on this colorful line, and this is my business cycle. So wherever that 12-12 is, if it's positive or negative, if it's rising or falling, it'll be somewhere on this colorful gummy worm looking line in one of our four phases of the business cycle. You can see them listed here. Clearly, uh, phase B, accelerating growth, is where everyone wants to be all the time. Unfortunately, much of our economy is, is slipping. And even before COVID-19, many of our leading indicators were on the backside of the cycle, phase C, or some now even crossing that zero line into negative territory, phase D, recession. But there are reasons to be optimistic. We do have some good news. We do have some opportunities and, and different markets either to seize today or to watch going forward. So I really want to jump right in. Uh, I'll start with the broad picture, the U.S. economy overall. And from there, we'll tackle the world all together, as well as your specific industry. Um, I have some good forecasts for you, but I think the best place to start, as always, is the 20,000 foot view. Um, one other question I've been getting quite frequently is, how does this compare to 2008? And if you're looking just at the pace of drop, you could think this really echoes that experience. But if you look at the duration, how long the decline will continue for, then it's an entirely different story. And a lot of that is driven by this consumer. So for you in this industry, it's great news. The US consumer, believe it or not, is actually quite healthy right now. Um, if we look at anything like employment pre-COVID, I know everyone on this call likely knows how tough it was just a few months ago to hire qualified employees. Uh, that's a tough sign for businesses, but it's a great sign for consumers. More people are working. In fact, more people were earning more money. Wages were rising. As a result of that, savings were up. Uh, we saw some debt, yes, but not concerning levels. We didn't see concerning delinquency rates. So the really the best comparison I can make is that if something like COVID-19 hit our, our economy back in, let's call it 2006, when we had much worse debt levels, the quality of that debt was significantly worse. Really, our consumer was just on shakier footing. You and I would be having a very different conversation today. We're on a much better foundation. There's a whole system of leading economic indicators. We at ITR, we like to wait until five of these have flipped to rise to definitively say that that looks like the new low. That looks like the point where we can expect a recovery in the future. Now I'm showing you six in rise right now. So that's good news. We are absolutely seeing that trend reverse again. It still is early days. We do have a little bit more to go before we get there, but the leading indicators are clear. Focus on the long game, focus on that big picture, and you'll be served well in your business.